generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very nice no-nonsense standard cup of tea, a good old cuppa. So welcome back to the game. Previously we started construction and got a fair way there. We got the basic detention centre grant done, the wall around the outside, the inner wall. We do need to set up the staff only areas but that's Futura's problem. We've got a storage with the utilities and also the uh, the officers which apparently the, well, the, the chief really doesn't like the accountant which is why they went all the way over there. So that's okay. We're also building up here another area which is for the staff well-being initiative let's just crack on in this episode let's not mess around too much and go ahead and run some cabling back here and i guess we need to we need to just put the walls in so 15 grand <laughs> we're not exactly swimming in money but we have enough hopefully to to build what we need we have got the bank loan unlocked we have also got the extra grant unlocked in fact with that in mind and to remind myself we are going to pick up that uh, that bank loan just to start increasing our our credit rating to effectively pump that uh, pump that up and give us a bit more options so let's go for a staff room staff room is going to go in here and it'll go in like so yeah that's fine the mm, i'm gonna say well i was zoomed out and it was saying oh yeah put a cooker in i mean yeah maybe but perhaps not so minimum size of four by four yes we need a sofa wide and a drinks machine the drinks machine is going to go on the back simply because it's the best looking one and what beverage does that uh, symbol remind you of Put it in the comments, and we're going to go for a sofa wide, which we'll, we'll just put in on this side here. Again, it's just the basics to get this up and running. I will put a coffee machine in there, probably, probably next to them. Although, maybe a radio. We don't need to do any of this realistically, but it's in. So, that's now done. Um, the rest of this, I'm not too sure what to do, because... This area is a security room. This is going to be the kennel. This is going to be the armory. Beyond this point, we only really need, realistically, guards. So we might go for... Hmm, we might go for just jail doors or something. Haven't yet decided. Anyway, we have security procedure certification. Cell block A, advanced protection. Things like the eco-friendly and stuff haven't even planned on doing. Hmm. Positive energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Build a yard and add a weight bench. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go for... I think cell block A or inmate health and well-being. Oh, it's going to be that, isn't it? Inmate health and well-being. Ten grand. We need to build the medical ward, which I know is going to be here. Yes, we have gone. One of the biggest buildings is, in fact, the medical ward. Okay. I don't think we're going to have enough money to build this in one go. Place your bets now. Oh, actually, it's <laughs> really inexpensive. Let's, let's do it. I say inexpensive. It's not cheap, but it's, it's in. So we need an access for the, well, for our staff members. It's going to be, hmm, I could put a jail door there and put the entrance here and have that as like a security thing. I think that's probably what we're going to do. We'll put in, for now, it's a large jail door will go there. That will be locked open though, should point out. Um, while we're waiting for that, deployment, staff only, and there we go. Oh, due to an administrative error, our completion bonus has been doubled. I don't think I'm going to grasp myself in and uh, <laughs> say we've, we've got some problems there. No, I think we'll take that all the way to the bank. <laughs> Maybe we should, probably shouldn't tell the bank manager. Anyway, that's good. That was the short-term investment. This is good. So there is our... Lock open. There is our um, large jail door. For these rooms, haven't yet decided how we're going to go with it. Uh, well, the top and bottom are staff only. Uh, sorry, visitation with separation. So visitor only on one side. There's a notebook page. 
So what I'll do, just for the sake of giving access, it's going to be... Well, it would be it's definitely going to be visited there and there. So we can have access to these areas because we are going to wall this off. So wall across there. Wall across there. Wall there and wall there. We also need an entrance way for the prisoners, which is going to be there and there because we're going to have metal detectors. The doors, <clears throat> yeah. There's always a point of contention when it comes to this because we could easily have a large jail door. But this has to be... A, accessible by the prisoners so we normally just put doors it just feels really really bad <laughs> um okay so planning and objects we are going to have objects there i'm just going to double check these sizings here so we could put in we can't put in all the beds there we could easily put six beds in there and six beds in there um somewhat strangely <laughs> one of them are, they're both behind a bit of a wall <laughs> so it's going to be a bit cramped but I think we, uh, I think we'll be all right with that. So over to utilities then, and electrical cable. That's going to run straight up the spine of the facility. We might as well run that. And let's go ahead and build, build the medical ward. So rooms and infirmary, and then this is all going to be set as infirmary, which it's all fine. We should hire doctors to work now in infirmary. Thank you for that sage piece of advice, game. There's the two doctors that are required, and. In terms of objects, it's medical beds. I'll just put a couple of those in for now, which will then... Oh, we need a psychologist as well. Uh, that's not exactly a problem. Uh, psychiatrist, no. Oh, have I not unlocked? I have not unlocked psychology. My mistake. Let's go for... Remote access, surveillance... Armoury, groundskeeping... Get all of those in there. Foreman. We'll hire those. So that's all now in. That's working. Just going to remove the planning feature. Oh, no. Remove these bits here because these do actually now have doors in. So that's fine. So yes, I understand we are just going for grants not building a facility uh, like that, w that actually works at this stage. But it's par for the course with these sorts of builds where we plan off and build it. Some people like it, some people don't. It's uh, it's how we're doing it, though. So, yards. Do need to put some more in there. Do need to hire a psychologist. There is that grant completed. Sadly, we didn't get a double, a double thing for it, <laughs> which is a bit of a shame. But that's not too much of an issue with the 43 that we have. So, um, cell block A seems to be the one we want to look at. Visitation rights we could do, because we've got a visitor room there and a visitor room there, and then this is going to be... I think we earmark these for a very small... a very small um, common room, but it's only four by something, and what's the common room size? I don't think it has a minimum size. No, it doesn't. didn't think it did. Cell block A. We'll go on cell block A. So, all of this is staff only. This... Ah, to be fair, to be fair, that could have been wall max sec. But because it's sort of visitor focused, we're going to, well, it could have gone either way. Mm, I don't think I'm, I just didn't think about it realistically, truth be told. I just put it in because we've been using these. But it's not solely for prisoners, so we can acquit ourselves of some wrongdoing there. But this certainly... Wall max sec. Yeah, this is going to be wall max sec. Well, I say wall, it's actually going to be foundation. More max. And all that is going to be um, max. Not these, though. These are going to be outside. So that's now in. And we want... I think I'm going to change that, by the way, to a remote door system. We're going to kick that down line for future me, though. Current me's got enough on. So, let's go ahead and build these cells. We might as well put all the doors in now, because we have to build them. And there we go. So, this is outside cells. And this one is going to be built, too. I might remove the lighting, actually. Hmm. You know what we're going to do? It may be a mistake. 
But I'm going to remove the lighting. I should have turned off all the lighting, but it's not too much of a problem. And... We're going to build... We're going to build it. And we are even going to put flooring in. And then we can just clone it down. We'll even do this bit here. It just saves us time. Mm, are we going to do this bit? Probably. But for now, the internals need to be done. So let's do that. It's going to be walls, max sec. And I'll unpause it and let them crack on with this. Oh, bit of lag there. And how we're going to build these. So naturally, we're going to have enough on our plate. That's one big cell, but it will section itself off, off automatically once they build the walls. He says... That one hasn't, though, has it? Okay. Just for the sake of completeness, I'm going to redesignate that, because I really don't want that to... Yeah, go all bad. Long-term investment we've got going. Sure, cell block A we've got going. What else can we pick up? Um... It's going to be visitation rights because we've got the buildings for them. Well, half the buildings at least. So let's work on the cells. Mm, for a start, lighting. I'll put a light in there. And naturally, this is going to be mirrored. And I could use the cloning tool and mirror them along and stuff, but no, we're just going to, we're just going to build it. So we need to have it so that the prisoners are... Well, the toilet and shower, which are going to be all in board, are going to be the... But like, the toilet mainly is going to be the furthest away from the walls. Which means, from this point of view, that one and that one. Because this one can go there, which is still far away. Which means, basically, I need to know where the bed's going to go, which is here. Once again, plus 10 generic points of overthinking. But... What's that saying? Nothing excels like excess. That's going to go in this corner. I like it facing that way, actually orientation. It's just a bit more interesting. Well, that's okay, but that's a bit... Nah. Nah. And the shower head goes right above it. So you can work double duty. Or even triple duty. And we do need a, a drain. But the drain can only be placed once we've got the other stuff in. So those are now legitimate cells. They will function perfectly well as legitimate cells. The question is, do we want to afford them extra amenities from the get-go? The answer is yes. I am going to put in a library, uh, a bookshelf, not a library shelf. But that should fill literacy needs. Mm, I'm not convinced a chess table is required. And I'm not... I mean, we could have a window. And that's going to increase the cell's grading as well. Do we want to put windows in now? Yes, yes I do. And I'm putting these in he here just because, well, they fit in quite nicely. Alright, what's fl what what flooring are we going to use then? We're not going to have carpet red. <laughs> Let's just, I'm just ruling that out now. Um, the outside here, most likely is going to be the concrete tiles with the, uh, with the straight, like, with the lines, because they just look really good. So it means that it's going to be concrete floor in it. Uh, concrete tile, should I say? It's going to be that. Is anything a bit more interesting? Limestone would look very nice. It also costs a nice price as well. We're not having the moss or the decking or. Oh, the iron floor might work, actually. Walk speed normal. But it's not going to marry up with the lines. So no, we are just going to go with the standard concrete. Perhaps a bit boring, but it's what we're going to do. And then we just need to put in these bits. So, wall max sec. And solitary doors. Walls and doors, doors. Solitary door secure. And I can't remember which way it goes. I think... Is it that? I don't think it actually matters. I think mechanically it just works. So, uh, where's solitary? When in doubt, use the search function. 
Well, it says it's fine. We just need a bit of power now. So, power is going to run up and down to there. Water is going to run down. And then, realistically, I can do that. And that should be all the water that's required. We're doing okay for cash. So I don't mind spending that money now. And that's now in. I, I like that. That red wall is just gives a little edge. And I think once we've done the... The walkways, it look pretty pretty. So, long term investment, getting there. The cell block A is not completed. Planning, uh, no, quick build, custom, cloning. Estimated price eight grand. <laughs> <laughs> you lie to me, game. All right, let's get that in. And that will then give us that cell block A grant. And that'll be 20 prisoners in total, which is probably going to be the starter for what we get. So while we're working on that, let's discuss this. So this is where we've got a an area for the prisoners. This is visitation. And the idea is to run object across here like so, where we can have uh, objects like so, and it's going to be visitor booths, and we are going to put a wall in there, which someone suggested, thank you very much, better than the horrible mess that we had at the start, so we're going to do that, okay, I don't think we need a metal detector here, I don't think so, because this is going to be that, um, the visitor booths, so it's going to be visitor booths, them ones. No contraband can pass through them. Whether or not it actually works or not is a different story. But all I'm going to point out is it's going to be like that. Prisoners on this side, visitors down the bottom. Row of three, row of three. This is going to be where the door is. There is space for provision of a metal detector. I'll say no more. Okay, so. Visitation. Let's build that. It requires a visitor table. With at least three visitor tables. Shame. Visitor table. One, two, three. I say shame because we're never going to use them again. Oh, actually, we might use one or two in here for a... Well, one of these is going to be a chapel, I think. And then the other one might be... Might. Might be. A parole room. Have yet to decide fully. So that's going to be a visitor room. Oh, to save slash visit a booth anywhere. Oh, but it doesn't matter. I was going to say, have I messed this up? And no. Should do a bit more due, due diligence. But we need three visitor tables. Whereas this visitor room definitely says visitor tables or visitor booths. Okay, it's fine. This then. Uh, this is going to be a, another... Staff only, sorry, another prisoner only area. So we're going to put that in. And we're not going to use the jail doors. It's just going to be a standard door, I think. It'll be fine. Just a standard door there. And look at that. We've completed that one. We could go for cell block B to raise it to 50, which we would never complete. <laughs> I'm just going to decrease our bank loan, by the way, because we've now got a credit rating of 10.0. Hmm, yeah, so what what are we going to pick up then? Prison maintenance. I was going to say, that's actually completed. That was quick. Hmm. Security procedure certification. We'll get that. So we're not patrols through bureaucracy. And higher guards. Trolls, intelligence, CCTV improvement, body armor, education, and tax relief, which is a lot of money to spend on what appears to be nothing, but it will come good in the end. So, come on, room, which requires, oh, there's another grand completion, 
Was that long-term investment? That was indeed a long-term investment. We could go with prisoner acclimatisation. Kitchen laundry and cleaning cupboard. I'm going to pick that up because that actually is... That will serve as a reminder for me to actually build said laundry. <laughs> okay. Uh, from here then. This is going to run down there. I'm probably going to run... Shall I sell that utility? We get money back, so we might as well. The rest of it's going to be powered up anyway. That's fine. Mm, while I'm on, just run a cable in here. And we need to add in a pool table and two TVs. So, TV then. We could put there. So it's going to be one, uh, actually, there, one, two, three, gap, there. So there's the two TVs, and I think we'll go for chairs. I actually typed in, I was going to type in seats there, but it actually, it actually brought up chairs. So maybe, yeah, goes brilliantly with a table. Yeah, chairs and tables do go well together. They're a decent combo, I find. But yeah, that's nice that that's in there. Nice little little feature. Where were we? Pool tables. Oh, well, fits in there. And phone booths, which were... The discussion was to place them around here, so... And the chief is calling. Cooperate with your confidential informants to unearth any corrupted guards. They will be sent to the chief's office to share information. Mm, make sure they have a CI's recruited. Check the question icon on the intelligence menu for more information. That one. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we have gangs, boiling point, stolen from, informants. Shows informants got by confidential informants. Yeah. There you go. Yes, because we now have corrupted guards with the gangs stuff. So that's now done. Um, is there anything else we can pick up? Tracker pilot scheme. I don't intend to use the tracking belts. That's the current intention. The current intention is not to have them. Are we going to put them in, though? I don't see any reason to. Normally the tracker belts are there for equipping to prisoners who are a uh, flight risk or uh, legendary or whatever. These are all legendary. They all are high risk for fighting and running away and things like that. So it's like <laughs> tracking everybody, you're not tracking anyone. Uh, so there's no real point. Um, advanced protection, train 20 guards in disarming certification. On maybe, maybe. Uh, reform through education initiative, no. Green machine, no. Bakery and all that. No, none of that really. Prisoner reoffending rate. Reduce the average reoffending rate to 30%. That's probably one we'll never see. <laughs> I'll pick it up anyway, just for the 15 grand. And we'll put some flooring in here. Um, what flooring do we want? Well, we're putting concrete tiles there. The concrete tiles is the, is the default that I can think we'd probably use. But do we want to change it to like red carpet just out of interest? How much is it? It's 50. I'm going to put it in anyway, just to see what it looks like. Ugh, after seeing how much it costs me, maybe uh, maybe I'll change that up. No, I like that. I'm going to stick with it. Okay, I'm also going to run some pathways because I'm sick of the guards spending... Well, the workers... They just need more... We need more, uh, more speed. And this should provide them with that. However, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare... Working out some of it. Mm, actually, this not so much. I'm going to do one section of it, and we'll see what it's like. Mm -hmm. That one, and then rotate that one, then rotate that one, and rotate it again to get that piece, that piece, that piece, and that piece. I think that'll that'll function. We'll just see what that's like. Naturally, I have to I have to run the same thing in and around here and along, and it, it's a it's a convoluted thing, but I think it's worth it in the end. Yeah, I like them. I like that. Okay, so we need to hire ten guards. I don't really want to do that. But are we getting to a point where we can get prisoners? Yeah, we're getting to that point. 
we're getting to that point. Okay. We want to have security. We want to have kennels, which is not unlocked. Dogs, tasers, staff vetting. Reduce the likelihood of new guards being corrupted. Oh, we're definitely picking that up then. Yeah, we'll get that while we while we can now. Okay. So, let me just finish off the flooring. Or rather, the majority of the flooring. Uh, we should probably do this side as well. Uh, no, we're not going to do that side because it's literally not built. And it would just look a bit silly. Two, three, four. Can't even see what I was placing there. I just knew it was probably correct. These tiles are run along. Uh, that will run down. I'll have to put the internal as well. That goes along there. That goes along here. That goes down to there. And then changes up just a little bit on this corner. Mm. No, it doesn't. It doesn't change there. <laughs> so I said about it's uh, a bit of a mess on, but I think it's worth it. When you've got a double bit like that, you can have it like this, and then, you know, the lines go like that and like that. I think just for the sake of ease, we'll, we'll not bother for now. Uh, that's the wrong one. That goes in there, in there. And then that one. And then that one. And we'll see what that's like. Yeah. Looks okay. I'm happy with that. Nice panel lining. Alright. That has been, once again, a bit of prison architect. We are getting there. We have a lot more stuff than we may need. Uh, we could make extra money if we had a death row. Ah, yes, and the message starts. Right, deployment, patrols. Three. And guards. There's them three. And then we need to hire ten guards. We're going to do it. And there's that grant completed. We will now pick up governmental security ratings. And we'll leave it there. To be a bit of prison architect. We have 90 grand. We need to build a laundry. We need to build an armory and a kennel. We need to add in more stuff in the kitchen, in the canteen, finish off visitation, and then, basically, we are ready to get prisoners. Next episode, we'll get everything ready for the prisoners. So, like I say, visitation, kitchen, all of the security stuff, put some more flooring in, make sure there's flooring around here, visitor reception and such, we'll have to get that done. So, we're still not there, <laughs> and the... The main event of legendary prisoners turning up and then promptly destroying what we've just spent time creating. Uh, we're still an episode off, but hopefully we're laying the foundation for a decent facility. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the episode and for what it is the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.